Assembly Bill 12, 22. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Blake. Thank you all. We get that uh, for your benefit while we this is our stepping forward. And, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chair and Assembly members. AB 1222 is a simple humanitarian update of the amount of levy funds that the Board of Equalization may return to a taxpayer when the levy threatens the taxpayer or their family's health or welfare. It does two things. It increases the allowable amount from $1,500 to $2,300. That $800 increase reflects the cost of living increase since 1996 when this program was initially implemented and has not been changed since. It also, as a second provision, allows those provisions to the remaining, uh, uh, or adds uh, those provisions to the remaining BOE administered tax and fee programs that currently lack it. There's two programs where it's currently lacking. Now under the BOE's tax and fee programs, they're authorized to levy bank accounts to collect delinquencies. This is um, in situations where folks don't pay, levies can take place. But under the law, the taxpayer rights advocate is authorized to order the return of some of those levy funds in a very limited situation. That is, only if the taxpayer demonstrates that a levied account threatens the taxpayer or the taxpayer's family's health or welfare. It's important to note that the advocate has no authority to relieve the taxpayer's liability. This is only a temporary, temporarily ordered relief through the return of some funds, up to $2,300 if this is approved, to provide for taxpayers' basic needs. AB 1222's increase from 15 to 2300 based on the cost of living, as the $1,500 return authority has been the law since 1996 when the return authority began. AB 1222 would authorize future increases to the return authority in line with CPI so that we don't have to go through this process repeatedly. The bill is designed to, attack, to assist taxpayers in need. We will continue to work with the committee on proposed amendments and ask for your high vote. Thank you very much, Mr. Bloom. Do you have anybody here um, who would like to speak? Do you have uh, two witnesses. I have Michelle Peelsticker and Todd Gilman, who are here on behalf of the Board of Equalization to answer any questions you have about this bill in order to any comments to add. Good afternoon, Michelle Peelsticker, State Board of Equalization. The BOE uh, voted to sponsor this legislation on a 5 0 vote. We very much appreciate the author for bringing it forward. And um, we believe that this will uh, allow the return authority to keep pace with inflation and to move across to the right way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else in support? Uh, uh, Todd Gilman, Taxpayers by Todd Gilman with the BOE. Um, this is a very important bill. I think it, uh, it's only happened twice in uh, the Board of Equalization since I've been advocates. So it truly has to rise to the level of truly helpful for issues, but it does benefit those that are to help to receive return funds. Your comments, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, first, I think this is good policy, but who who actually makes the decision on you know what's a hardship? And, you know, is that done by the people? Is done by myself and my staff? Uh, we're the independent body within the board of organization that can make that decision. We're outside the program area, so we have the responsibility of looking at the documentation provided to the taxpayer and making an independent determination. Thank you. Anyone else here who would like to speak in support of this bill? Are there any witnesses in opposition to this bill? Seeing none, Mr. Blue will sign to close. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I vote. Is there a motion to move? Mr. Bell, do you want to move? Second, but I can't. Mr. Chair, we call the vote. The motion is to pass. Voting in favor? Aye. Voting in favor? Aye. Dally? Aye. Dally? Aye. Gordon? Aye. Gordon? Aye. Mullen, aye. Mullen, I, Mustangi, Ham, Ham, I, Perez, Ting. That bill is out. Thank you very much, Mr. Blue. Thank you.